नासिर अहमद Uh, good, uh, good evening to one and all. Uh, myself, Dr. Nasir Ahmed from Presidency College, my department, senior lecturer. And today I'm going to present uh, one of my paper uh, with the uh, title, Oscillatory Maxwell Catino Feather Convection in a Densely Packed Porous Medium Saturated with a Viscoelastic Magnetic Fluid. So this is the outline of the presentation. We are just going to have the in introduction followed by research objective, research methodology, and the references. So coming to the basic part, fluid. OK, sir. OK, sir. So I'll go with my finds. OK, sir. Finds. So my work is more on uh, non-Newtonian fluid, that is uh, viscoelastic fluid. So we'll just go directly to that. So these are the preliminaries. Okay, this is the objective. So from here the work starts. So the title is Oscillatory Maxwell Catino Ferric Convection in a densely packed porous medium saturated with a viscoelastic magnetic fluid. So these are the assumptions which are going to have. So we are going to have temperature below Curie point, basic absorption taken. Uh, so whenever the body force, that is gravitation, is present, only that when uh, gravitation is present, the density will be taken as a, a variable. Otherwise, it will be a constant. So the other approximation as follows. Now this is the diagram. So here we are going with the relay Bernard case, where we are going to heat the, from the below the temperature is TL and uh, TL temperature is more than TU and this is densely packed the porous medium having second sound effect where the way the heat transfers will be in finite not in finite. Also these are the governing equations since we are going to consider uh, fluid so incompressible fluid therefore continuity equation the divergence of the of fluid vector velocity will be zero and here we are got in momentum equation lambda one and lambda two now lambda one lambda two is stress relaxation time and strain relaxation retardation time this is due to the non-newtonian effect and the oscillatory is due to the presence of these two parameters that's nothing but viscoelastic uh, fluid and we can see one more interesting thing here dou by dou t nothing but uh, derivative with respect to time. So the, due to the presence of these two parameters, but viscoelastic, we are going to get oscillatory. If we take lambda 1, lambda 2 equal to 0, it will be a Newtonian fluid and we will just get stationary, uh, stationary instability. Oh, is it? Okay. So these are the governing equations. And now we are going to do non-dimensional part, nothing but we are going to scale uh, so that we can arrive a non-dimensional for the given governing equations. Okay, so if we give a very small disturbance for the basic set, we are going to uh, get some infinitely very small disturbance and these are the uh, equation in the perturbed state uh, where lambda 1 and lambda 2 stress relaxation time and strain relaxation time uh, w, w dash is the vertical velocity in perturbed state phi dash is the magnetic potential and the second equation is going with the second sound and tau is uh, constant with the dimension of time Thank you. 
Okay. Yes, sir. No, it's not going to next slide, sir. It's same slide. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's not going to next slide, sir. Yes, sir. It's not going to next slide. Ah. Ah, okay. These are the boundary conditions. The different parameters uh, obtained. Uh, Non-dimensional parameters. That is the slide time, strain duration time, Vada's number followed by the ray, Dusty lane number. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, so here. So here. This we have obtained the relay number. So coming to relay number, again if you see the sigma is multiple with F1 and F2. So as soon we take stationary, nothing but sigma is equal to zero, we can see in the second expression that is our relay Darcy relay number stationary case, there is no F1, F2 present, nothing but whenever we go for stationary case, nothing but independent of time, we cannot see oscillatory convection. It will be only the stationary convection. And this is the boundary condition applied. Um, graphs. So these are the results which we are going to have. Now first graph, if we just compare between the stationary instability and oscillatory instability, we can see that uh, the red color, the oscillatory instability has occurred first compared to stationary and this is just because there will be a computation between the thermal diffusion and viscous relaxation and due to which we are going to get first uh, oscillatory instability first compared to stationary and this is again due to the presence of viscoelastic and second sound effect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, in this, the contribution will be now coming to, there are two parameters coming to viscoelastic fluid, that is strain relaxation time and stress relaxation time. So, coming to stress relaxation time, the instability will be higher compared to strain retardation time. Coming In coming to stress relaxation time, as in how we are going to increase the magnetic number M1, the instability will be faster. Whereas in strain radiation, it will be slower. Nothing but the movement of the heat will be faster as in how we are going to go with the stress relaxation time. Whereas as we are going to in, uh, increase strain retardation time, the fluid movement will be slower. And hence the uh, system will not be destabilizing. It will be stabilizing for strain retardation time. This is the main thing which I have got. Then we have got Varaz number. Again, there also the system will be destabilizing, which is graphically shown. Uh, sir, we have went for analytical method, analytical, all are analytical method and all are under linear, we have, ah, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, it is, ah, these are the conclusions, sir, so next, ah, these are the reference, ah, yes sir, sir, next, next sir, sir, ah, next one sir, ah, yes, 25, 24, Ah, these are the ones, and again the remaining P base also it is this. So in this also 24 and 25 we have went with the linear itself, but coming to 24, uh, it is with the Brinkman model. Now here I have went with Darcy model where the fluid is very slow, and we have not taken in present presentation kinetic uh, energy, but in this we have taken. And coming to 25th we have went with anisotropic nature, nothing but the porous medium is going to have horizontal same uh, isotropy nature but vertically it will not be having isotropic. We are going to have mechanical and thermal conduction. So horizontally it will be isothermal but vertically it will not be. Uh, oh yes sir.
Yes, sir. So these are the reference which I have taken, sir. Yes, sir. So which one, sir? Okay. No, sir. It to be published. Yes, uh, sir. Critical and then uh, uh, oscillatory. But oscillatory was very big expression to get. Uh, so we have this. Sure, sir. Sure. I'll do it. Thank you. Thank you, Manelon.